Hello world. I've revised my soap dispenser. Well, I've made it better. It's still the same thing, I guess. Um, except for I've, I've placed a tap here, which allows me to restrict the water passing through here and force the water down into the tank more. This here is a one-way valve, so water can only go into the tank, can't come back up. Here I've used a Nitto style air, like air line connector. <laughs> so I don't want to lose the soap, we won't disconnect it, but being able to disconnect it means I can unwind this unit and fill it up with soap. <clears throat> I spilt a bit of soap. <laughs> Pouring it in there. We did $120 for 20 litres. Don't want to do too much of that. But I did have this sitting inside my window cleaning bucket. I had just ridiculously soapy water. <laughs> um, but at this job, that was kind of good. Anyways, that's beside the point. Here we've got another one way valve. Um, it's, it's turned off at the moment. The system ends up under pressure. So here we can see like how diluted the soap is. As the water runs through in here and soap comes out into here, the actual mixture of soap is obviously going to get diluted. Obvious, nothing's ever obvious. This is quite a finny yeah, thin quite a thin tube. Goes down into the bottom. It's like what used to go to the spray wand, it used to be a spray pack. So there's a steel tube going from here down into the bottom. And that's quite thin, actually, so that would be creating a fair amount of back pressure. I'll need to get another pressure gauge so I can actually see what's going on when I'm using this. Just for fun sakes, it doesn't really matter, the whole thing works. So, I'm trying to figure that out. So that's where it's going to twist to. You can see it can put soap in there with a fair amount of pressure. Oops, plug the hose in or on. Don't want to waste too much soap on the demonstration here. <laughs> um, but you've got several points where you can adjust it. So here, you can adjust how much back pressure is going through into here. Here you can adjust how much is allowed out. And yeah, look, it's off at the moment. Like, you'll find it keeps delivering soapy water for ages off of just a little bit, because this soap is so concentrated. And yeah, that's with a lot of water flow as well. And that's not so soapy that you feel lots of soap, it's just a little bit soapy. Um, which I guess if I was cleaning a really dirty car, I do want to feel that it's soapy. You can just turn this on a bit. As soon as you start to see it coming through, you know, you're not going to turn it anymore. You don't want to be wasting it. And now that's slippery, soapy water. Alright. Whoa. That was a waste of soap. <laughs> yeah, you can see how concentrated this stuff is. Um, the last fill I had of this, which I've never actually put 12 litres of pure soap in it. I washed the house, a decent sized house, and three cars. And the last car that I washed, no, actually I did put some more soap in there. It was a Toyota Land Cruiser that hadn't been cleaned for three years. It's like green and mossy and, yeah, this stuff's awesome. It just does an awesome job. CT18. Alright.
Oh, I've I've done this because it avoids needing to pump chemicals, like for a pump. You don't even need a pump, and I brought an attachment. Um, I need to go to the kitchen sink so I can show you. But you can attach it to um indoor taps, like not all indoor taps, but any indoor tap with a with an aeration filter thing on it. So then you can go straight off the um, hot water mains, straight into your soap, straight out to your washing brush. Hot water. Um, and what you could do is find this size thread with like the male spigot on it so you can put it into a hose with a clamp and just have it permanently attached to the end of a hose that you bring in and then you don't have any issue of back pressure and taps popping on and off. Um, but what I'm thinking of using this for with hot water there won't be a lot of back pressure. Um, so yeah, you should be fine. Alright, peace world.